So, have you seen, have you looked into Michael Rubin at all? No. Michael Rubin's the guy that threw that white party this summer. Okay. He's fucking gay. He's just a fucking loser. He's like a typical fucking Brazilian guy that just like absolutely thinks he's the coolest fucking guy in the world for like worshiping basketball. Yeah. Like, I know a lot about basketball, so I'm cool. Uh -huh. Yo, it's James Harden. Yeah. Yo, but let me watch how much he touches everybody real bad. Look, what, keep your eyes on his hands. What? Always what? grabbing. Look at the dude. Look, look up Michael Rubin, Bob Kraft birthday. Look picture. at the, look this right here. He's got his hand on this guy's ass. Is yeah. that John yeah. Legend? If I did that to you, Sam, what would you? You'd push my hand away, and we'd start. We'd have a fist fight. Is that John Legend? That's, Who's that? No, that's, that's, that's a gay gay mulatto. Okay. Is that James Harden? Tom James Brady. Harden and Tom Brady. <laughs> he throws like the most you know star studded. He's he's fi so he started fanatics and blah blah blah. He grew yeah. up in a, you know he's always got the, the humble beginning story. <laughs> You know, where he just he started his skiing business when he was twelve. You know, from humble beginnings, mm -hmm. and he did twenty five thousand when he was twelve, and then he did fifty thousand when he was fifty. Whatever, I don't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. um, but now he throws these like weird, and he has the I don't know what he has like these strange like demonic looking fucking eyes. But um, they're like always red and inflamed. His eyes, if you take pictures of them, they look strange. It looks like he's on like a drug. I can't explain. A doll's eyes. Yeah, that's weird. oh he's wearing, he's wearing Some makeup? red eye eyeshadow. Or yeah, something. it's something. His eyes look very red. It's a cool outfit. It is a cool. It's a good look at. Yo, dude, touching his ribs. Just a return to game. Chauncey Billups or whoever that is. He's what the fuck? A, ma a, ma a man's hands right here. Yeah. Yo, uh, all the time. Look at the Bob Kraft birthday picture is the number one in the world. You're gonna die. He's always Bob. Bob Kraft is his quote mentor, or or just the other guy he sucked at a fucking demon obelisk marble blood drink ceremony. Look at his eyes. Um, yeah. Like, this shit's strange, dude. Meek Mill's gay ass. Look how close he is to Kevin Hart. Oh, he always jump. He he does, like, from behind hugs and shit. Mm -hmm. So, you know, these these this is like the... He's into cuddling. He's into cuddling grown men at a party mm -hmm. while everybody's there. Mm -hmm. That's when I'm... You know what? I, I, I want to cuddle sometimes. I'll be honest yeah. with you. And the best time I cuddle is when there's uh, 300 people at my house and everybody's walking around having cocktail hour, I want to cuddle with men while they're standing up. Sometimes I just want to do a big Martha Stewart Christmas hug on Jamie Foxx. <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah, I get I it. Just breathe in, his, breathe in his neck. I want to have a, a little baby at my house. Yeah. But I want to hug him in the bathroom by, when we're by ourselves. Mm -hmm. And um, like this, like look at the one hey! in the chair. Yeah, yeah. This shit. What the fuck? And you can, I mean, there's thousands and thousands and thousands. He's like a, like a Puff Daddy level handler. Man, but he's man. a Gary Pasenak He's saying, pick me up. NB NBA <laughs> players are so straight. They're, it's the straightest sport there is. Dwayne Wade is cool. Mm -hmm. And NBA is mad straight and not manipulate. That's why it was better when Michael Jordan was there. Just be like, <laughs> hey, you want a drink? <laughs> bet you I can get you to drink. <laughs> That's my impression of Michael Jordan. <laughs> I'll, I'll bet you I can get you to drink. Yeah. <laughs> But like these, like in like cringy celeb uh, game parties, like this yeah. kind of crap. So if you want to play this silly game and these humiliation rituals, there's just like a core group of people, mm -hmm. and um, the, the amount of like, and I like when they grab like a newbie, like Drewski. Mm -hmm. You know the black guy Drewski? Yeah, yeah. They're just trying to fuck that guy as hard as possible, mm -hmm. and it'd be interesting to be like, nah, I don't know. It's just very, it's all very interesting to me. Uh, well, I think that didn't uh, they? They have uh, no, now they got podcasts with the guys that said nah. Like have you seen you've seen Nori's what's Nori's podcast? Yeah, uh drink not drink champs. No. Uh is Nori drink champs? Nori who? Nori. 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 N O R E. Those are the guys that get in the basketball players that talk about how it, this cheating. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, drink champs. Drink champs. Yeah. Yeah, drink champs is where I, there's a there's you see clips on here where it's like, oh yeah, I went in the room and saw Puff Daddy kissing another n Yeah. I said, No, sir, no, not me. And that oh. was the end of my career. I ain't never made an album after that. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's how yeah. black guys typically like uh, the ones I hear. It's like, okay, and that was in '99. How many albums did I make after that? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. How many albums did I make after he's the one? And they're always like, like I'm supposed to know the fucking song, and my white ass is watching like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like I'm sitting there like yeah. a gourd, yeah. like, a, like, a, like a harvest gourd, yeah, yeah. like pre pretending to understand like. I, after after platinum status, how many albums did I make, Sam? Zero. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's, yeah, what I, that's what I always hear, yeah. and it's probably it's a thousand percent true. Yeah, but it's like who did then? Like those that the, all this the gate the gate gatekeeping shit is just so endlessly entertaining, and I'm I'm so stupid that I keep falling for like finding this interesting year after year after year. But I don't know. I mean, that's the club, man. When you see three million dollars. 
$3 million a day go to like a guy like Jared Leto singing mediocre rock music mm -hmm. from a guy to come from like an ad. It'd be like if I saw Hulk Hogan selling spices yeah. at like Stop and Shop and <laughs> making like $500 million. <laughs> he's like, you take my spices, my oregano, whatever the fuck you would yeah, say. Yeah. And like, he's like, what? <laughs> That's just kooky. Yeah. Man, I would fucking pay, I would kill to see if Jared Leto ran a cult himself. Can you imagine that? You mean? I want, no, I only, if he started one. You mean the cult that he started? What is it? Look up Jared Leto cult. He didn't start a cult, did he? Yeah. Uh, everything, yeah. everything, everything. No, it's um. Uh, if he, I think he talked about it. Hold on. Mars man. Island. Why are people convinced Jared Leto runs a cult? There we go. Mars Island. That's it. No, no, it was called something funny like that. Matthew McConaughey comes out on stage to see this guy. It's all so st get Matthew McConaughey's ass the fuck out of here. And people need to give up on that fucking guy. Camp Mars. Is he wearing dish gloves? He's wearing like the Katamari I like <laughs> clothing. I like black girls insulting him on his fucking... Like this nigga don't even got a song yeah. worth jumping off the bridge. Like he's jumping off the top of the state. There we go. What's the pictures there, Chris? What is this? There we go. Oh my God. There we go. Oh yeah. Look at all those people. Yeah, baby. Oh, look wow. At that Look at all that. Pussy. Yo, Damn. what the fuck? Why? Why isn't the book? Asked the documentary. Let's do it. Let's put money into it. Let's let's find thirty girls who went to this and interview them. Oh, brother! I like the one with the hat on there, looking at somebody's mom, straight up embarrassing herself. Oh, brother! This is a good gateway. It's well, we should, too funny. You know what's a strange thing, bro? What? Women liking artists because they're good looking. Yeah. Like grown women with jobs, oh, yeah. like Matt Rife. My my stepmother uh, loved Matchbox Twenty. Oh my god! <laughs> like like more than normal. Like would have would have divorced my dad if Rob Thomas was like, "I wanna push you down." Well, I will. Well, I will. I wanna take you for granted. Wow. <laughs> he wants to take your stepmom for granted. Yeah, man. I want to push you around. Well, wow. I will. Well, I will. Yeah. Who's, wanna... his, who's he married to? Uh, I think it's your stepmom. <laughs> it's Jane, Jane Gillette. <laughs> Mar Marisol Mel... Oh. Oh. Okay. So he's married to the same man that um, Alex Hormoz is <laughs> married to. Rob, I want crab. <laughs> Rob, take me out for crab. <laughs> well, I will. Well, I will. Tim for two, please. That's my husband, Rob Thomas. <laughs> well, I will. Uh, I, oh, man. That'd be so... If I... Like a good South Park episode. <laughs> like all these celebrities singing their f***y husband songs everywhere they go. Mm -hmm. And like that's their character in South Park. Where they're like... Mm -hmm. She's singing like, It's 3 a.m. and I'm lonely. Hey, everybody. Uh, Tim for two, please. <laughs> Is that Matchbox 20? Yeah. It's, that's nuts that you can remember so much. There, I'm looking at him. I know, but fucking even remembering what the fuck 3 a.m. is. Uh, do, uh, Matchbox 20. These are guys, right? There are people. There are people who I can't understand their numbers, popularity, and their traction. I just don't get it. Mm -hmm. I understand our shit. Mm -hmm. I understand fucking uh, Joe Rogan. That mm -hmm. I can comprehend. Matchbox 20, I can't comprehend. You know what it is? It's just that there's so many people. Yes. And I realized that I drove to... Um, I, I was driving past Mystic Aquarium in uh, on the way back to uh, New York City. Yeah. And I was like, oh, maybe we just check out Mystic Aquariums. I went there as a kid, and um, it sucked. But uh, in the middle of Connecticut, like Connecticut, you think it's a nice state, right? Like there should be like whatever there. Yeah, yeah. You go yeah. to Mystic Aquarium, and it's there. It's like three thousand people. Eighty percent of them are in their pajamas. Yeah. And it's not black people. It's white people. <laughs> Yeah. And they're wearing like incredible Hulk pajamas and shit. Yeah. Yeah. There's R just Rick so, and Morty t shirts. There's so many fucking people. 